some more details related to the domestic electricity. Firstly is the selection of the power cable. Thin or thick, how do you choose it? For the thin wire, it's cheaper and lighter, but it is suitable for some low power rating items. Because for the high rating power, the thick wire has a lower resistance, so we have less energy loss and it can also help to prevent the overheat. Because the thicker wire have lower resistance. And then, to make a variable brightness of the lamp, we can use a real stack and connect it with the bulb in series so that we can change the equivalent resistance of the circuit. By changing it, we can set the brightness of the light bulb. And you can see the equation when the real star increases resistance, the power will be decreased. That means the light bulb will become dimmer. So we can adjust the brightness. And some precautions of the electric hazard, we have past talked about it before. We have to connect the metal case of the electric appliances with the earth wire. And we can use the fuse to prevent overloading, to prevent the high current flow during short circuit. And we can have other kinds of safety measures. And for saving electricity, we should note that most of the power plant is still operating with the fossil fuel. So if we save the electricity, we can save the use of the fossil fuel and reduce the pollution and especially to reduce the global greenhouse effect. And we can use the fluorescent lamp rather than the filament lamp. The other thing is the energy label. You should note that for the energy label, grade 1 is the most energy efficient and grade 3 is on average. That means compared with the others, it is the same of the use of energy. And for the level 4 and the level 5, it's actually less efficient than the average already. So usually you won't able to see the level 4 and level 5 Electrical co appliances in the market because they will hide it from you. It's also shown the annual energy consumption. Then, this example, we are comparing the two kinds of light bulb. You can see that they have different power and different price. So, let's find the efficiency of the light bulb first. For the filament lamp, the left hand side, okay, let's consider what is the efficiency here. Uh, the efficiency is the useful output over the input. Uh, the useful output is light. And how about the input? Yes, it's 100. So that we can find out the efficiency here is 15%. How about for the energy saving bulb? For the energy saving bulb, the efficiency. Also, the useful output is 15. And how about the input? The input is just 18 for this one. So you can see that it is more efficient than the filament bulb. What if the family buys six filament bulb and spend one thousand dollars annually for the electricity fee? How much can the family save by using energy bulb? Now we know that the power is directly proportional to the cost. Why? If you still remember the power the energy bill, then you should note that the energy is proportional to the cost. 
and now annually. That means both of them have the same time. The time is one year. So that's the power and the cost is directly proportional. So that we can use this idea to find out the cost that you need to pay if it uses less energy. And that means the less power here. Now, so this is the cost of the electricity, but you should note that the energy saving bulb is more expensive. So that we have to consider the cost of the light bulb also. Now, so the money saved should be the money saved in electricity minus the extra cost for the bulb. So that we can calculate the money saved in electricity minus the extra cost for the light bulb. So that we can get the correct answer.